Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I've got a special recipe that I've been wanting to show you for many years. It's an old family recipe. Uh, my mother made this uh, recipe book for all of her daughters. You can see how old it is. It's just colored up here at the top. This recipe is jalapeno spinach. It's a family favorite. I've wanted to show it to you for a long time, but what prompted me to do it today is this is the week before Thanksgiving. And I'm telling you, I am so tired of seeing videos of green bean casserole. We can do better. Let's up your game this year. Bring jalapeno spinach to Thanksgiving and wow them. Okay, so let's get started. I've got a couple of different kinds of spinach here. It doesn't really matter as long as it's chopped spinach. I've got some boiling water here and a microwave safe dish. I'm going to dump my spinach in there. It's a good bit. All right. And I'm going to cover it with a little bit of plastic wrap and pop it back in the microwave for about four minutes. I want it to be completely thawed and to feel pretty hot. Uh, this doesn't really have to be cooked as long as it says on the bags. Bags of chopped spinach will say it has to cook between four and eight minutes. Uh, the most I'm going to cook this is four minutes. So it's going to go in the microwave uh, right now. Let's get started with the rest of it. So I'm going to turn my element on, about medium, and into that goes a stick of butter. As always, don't worry about the ingredients because they're going to be conveniently posted below the video. All you have to do is click on show more. I'm not going to make you run to my blog or run to any other page. They're right below my video. All you have to do is click on a uh, copy and paste, drop them in your word processor, print them and put them in your cookbook. Butter's in there and in goes the flour. What am I doing? I'm making a roux. And the roux is the basis of my cheese sauce for my jalapeno spinach. So let's get a whisk here. Seriously. Right here. If you've never made a YouTube cooking video, let me just assure you that a lot goes into doing that. French term used for having everything you need for a recipe in its place and having your kitchen all lined up in order to make cooking very efficient is called mise en place. And good YouTubers practice that all the time, meaning that we line up everything. We don't cook for you on video like we cook uh, for ourselves. I don't make sure that everything's in place. I just grab what I need when I need it. So if occasionally we have to reach for something, you, you need to forgive us because we've done our best to have it all in place. This is bubbling already. I really don't want this to brown. I just want the butter to melt and to begin cooking that flour so it doesn't have a raw taste. Can you see in the pot? Why don't we stop for just one minute and see if we can position just a little bit better for you. All right, I think that's a better angle for you. So my butter and my flour are completely combined. I'm gonna add some finely chopped onion. I'm gonna saute that for just a minute. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'll use this for another minute. I just want to wilt those onions a little bit, get them translucent. Once again, I don't want to put any color on them. The recipe is going to call for four tablespoons of finely diced onion. That ends up being roughly a half of a medium onion. I'm using yellow onion today. It doesn't matter. Use whatever you like, white or yellow. Turn this down just a little bit. OK, 
Okay, I've got another little process that's going to go on over here. I'm going to be squeezing my spinach. There may be more glamorous ways to do this. Can you catch this? Okay. I'm going to turn that spinach down, I mean that roux down just a little bit. I'm getting spinach juice everywhere. This is not a very glamorous process. In fact, I think I'll finish doing it now off camera now that you can see what I'm doing. I'm squeezing. This is dry clumps of spinach over here. And I'm going to save the liquid. I'll come right back. All right, so in goes the cup of reserved spinach liquor. Just stir that in. And then my um, condensed milk, not sweet and just canned. Now, if you notice, this can I had dated 1013 was the best by date. That canned milk is still good and would be good four years from now. It intensifies in color a little bit. Because it had the rust here on the top, I just turned the can over and opened it from the bottom. Now, since this was the bottom of the can, you can see some of the milk solids here. I'm just going to scrape those off because those are yummy. Canned milk will darken in color slightly. It'll yellow a little bit. It's still delicious. In fact, I like the flavor of older canned milk better than new. For some reason, it's more intense. I like it. Okay, so to my roux, I've added my spinach liquor and my milk. Now I'm going to add the flavorings. Let's let's talk about wringing out the spinach though in case that in case you have an aversion to touching your food. You could put that spinach in a clean old dish towel and wring it out. You could put it in a mesh strainer and press out the liquid with the back of a wooden spoon, but I think hands were meant to be used in the kitchen. Uh, just make sure they're very clean. This will begin to thicken right away, and I'm going to season it. Here we go. Celery salt, garlic salt, black pepper, and optional red pepper, cayenne pepper. Uh, I like it. This is not very hot. It has a little bit of heat, but it's certainly pleasant. I have never serve this to any child that didn't love it and gobble it down. I've never met anyone who didn't like this dish. It's wonderful. All right, I'm also going to add my Worcestershire sauce now. And I'm just waiting for this to thicken just a little more before I dropped in, drop in my cubed pepper jack cheese. It doesn't need to be much smaller than that. Yeah, it's starting to thicken. It's going in now. I'm going to change at this point from a whisk to a wooden spoon. And all of my cheese is going in. I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit. Don't want to burn that cheese. I want it to melt nice and slowly. And it really doesn't even need another drop of Worcestershire sauce there. It doesn't even need to be completely melted before I add the spinach. Do you see how quickly this went together? This is the quickest dish to make. It's just delicious. It's great on a buffet and I'm telling you if you take this to a potluck or you serve this for a holiday dinner, people are going to rave. All right, once I can see the edges on those blocks of cheese are melting away, I'm going to start to add my spinach. Now, it's really dry, so I'm going to have to kind of break it up here. Well, 
with all that ooey gooey goodness get in there. I love this, especially with smoked meat. If you're so, sm uh, serving smoked chicken or smoked turkey, oh my goodness. Tonight, I'm going to be serving this with roasted chicken and orange glazed carrots. It makes a beautiful, beautiful plate. Now, one of the things I like to do is to save back if you have any extra spinach liqueur because I can tell this is a little thick. I'm going to add a little extra. So just note that on the recipe, don't, don't throw away that good spinach liquid. And you can even save that spinach liquid uh, to add to soup that you make later in a week. I always hate to throw out vitamins. You paid money for them. I'm going to use a little more. So now I'm probably up to like a cup and a half of, of the spinach liquor. And that's what you call vegetable. Uh, the broth that cooks off of vegetables, for lack of a better word. Now I'm going to get a fork and taste this for seasoning right now. Can use a little more salt. This is so creamy. What I like about it is that you don't cook the spinach so long that it that it becomes that dull green. Now a caution here. Do not I'm gonna use just a tad more. I caution you. Do not think that you can use canned spinach for this. I think every can of canned spinach should uh, be dropped in the middle of the ocean somewhere. I only use fresh spinach or frozen spinach. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I haven't had this in a long time. So another little taste test. <laughs> wow. It really is so good. I just want this to begin to bubble a little bit. I still see a few little chunks of cheese in there. I want to be sure it's totally heated through. Just going to add the rest of that. Uh, the great thing about this is it does freeze very, very well. So if you want to make it ahead of time, you can make it ahead of time and put it in your freezer. Wow, okay, now it's now it's bubbling up. I see one little piece of cheese there. All right, let me move this. I'm going to put it in a pretty serving bowl and come back and show you how it looks. Here it is finished in a beautiful vegetable serving bowl. Creamy jalapeno spinach. Look how much more appetizing that is on a plate. A little puddle of bright green spinach. What a nice change up from the traditional tired green bean casserole. You've got to give this a try. I'm going to give Paladin Prepper just a little bite right now. He's doing double duty as taster and cameraman. Mm. Take another taste myself. That is amazing. And let me say, to me it's, it's extra special that it's amazing because when I grew up, as I was growing up, my mom tried to feed me, uh, he served spinach out of a can. And I thought it was just awful. And when I married this lady, and she said one evening she was going to make some spinach, I thought, oh, brother. And then she made this delicious dish, and I was hooked. It is really, really good. 
I hope you will trust me on this. Those of you who are scared because it has jalapeno in the name and you're not real real fond of very hot things, uh, it's just warm. It's not it doesn't it's not burn your tongue hot or anything like that. Uh, if you're if you're fearful of that, absolutely omit the cayenne pepper, the red pepper, and just use the jalapeno cheese. It is delicious. I guarantee you're going to love it. Until next time, this is Cat's Cradle and Paladin Prepper.